Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In this week's episode, we've got a selection of clips sent in from the community. Let's get started with some clips sent in from Arch. Now, this guy is an absolutely insane player when it comes to pulling off things that you didn't think were possible. Yes, that was a Piat launcher launched at a plane at insane range. I didn't even think that was possible. And not only has he pulled off one of these, he's pulled off quite a few. They're super impressive, and this is just perfectly calculated stuff and takes a lot of precision to pull off. This one with a Panzerfaust, still pretty damn impressive. And then he moves on to some very nice bomber kills. It's not your usual bombing the hell out of an enemy position and getting a load of kills. In fact, he's doing a backflip loop, taking out a pursuing plane. And if pulling it off once wasn't good enough, he actually has managed this again on Fiel. I think it's an absolutely insane way to take out a pursuing plane. Just a real only in battlefield moment. If that wasn't good enough for you, well, we're moving on to something even better in the air. Eros is going to be pulling off not one, but two bombs on enemy planes in a row. The first time I've seen this happen on the top plays, an absolutely awesome clip. Zariana plays is next up. Playing on Aras, this is going to be a very, very accurate clip making use of that frag grenade to kill an enemy hiding behind cover before pulling off a selection of headshot kills with the STG. Gold skin, of course, rocking with the three times scope, I believe, as well, to get that range. An awesome clip, really cool to see. Capademic is next up, Fiel 652. Now this isn't your usual fly over the enemy spawn and blow them up with a JU-88. No, this is gonna be with a fighter Using the rocket pod loadout, this is an example of exactly what you can pull off with a fighter in a game like this, where the enemies are bunched up, and yes, maybe DICE need to do something about that. But it is nice to see that the fighters can also pull off some of this stuff, not just the bombers. Billy Billy 2G is next, playing on Narvik. Unfortunately misses his Panzerfaust, but makes use of an anti-tank bundle grenade to see that enemy bomber out of the sky. Naki is next up, and he's going to be playing on Rotterdam. This guy is a regular on the top play show, plays on console, but often pulls off clips that could be perceived to be on PC, maybe. It depends what sort of player you are, but no one can deny that they're damn awesome and full of only in battlefield moments. He's rocking the Lewis gun, and this thing will tear through the enemy team if you get yourself in a decent position, makes use of the bipod in that first section of the clip before pushing his way through, picking up ammo off fallen enemies, although he doesn't really need it at this point, and then tearing through the rest of them on this alpha objective. One guy's just standing out in the open, ADSing not the smartest move. He knows there's a couple more on this outside section of the flag. It doesn't matter, his team have taken the sector with him at the front of that push. Next up, a clip sent in from Magic Fancy Andy. This guy is an incredible battlefield player. There's no doubt that his aim is awesome, and this clip showcases that 10 or 11 snipes in a row, all headshots on enemies, doesn't miss anything from what I can tell using the M95 on Twisted Steel. Next up, one of the best Panzerfausts that I've seen sent in from MKY. Across the map, check it out. Icelandic Fox is next up, playing on Narvik. He's pulling off a nice clip. First of all, taking out Equa, probably the real Equa, 
and then sniping a grenade to finish that guy off behind cover. I do love seeing those grenade snipe clips. I'm looking forward to seeing one in a 5 to 10 man sniping feed as well. That would just be insane. Freak Gaming is next. Another snow map. This is Fjell652. Looking to take down enemy planes. You know how annoying the planes can be on this map. Dice are going to have to do something about that. Maybe they've already patched it by the time this video comes out. The first bomber taken out of the sky. And then the second bomber taken out of the sky as well. There are five bombers per team though, so he's going to have to up his game if he really wants to take out all of them and help his team out even more. Next up, we've got Yikofan using the Suomi. Now, a big shout out to him for sending this in because he's playing the Medic class. And the Medic class in Battlefield 5 is pretty decent at close range, as you can tell. He's not having too much trouble taking down these enemy players. You also get the luxury of healing yourself and reviving your teammates, which is a massive thing in a Battlefield game, even more so in Battlefield 5, as you have to remain on objectives as a squad or a team, because soloing, although it's possible, is not as easy as it was in previous Battlefield games. Ecofan has ripped through the enemy team here. A really popular place to camp with snipers right where he's running around the corner here, just because of the angles you can get onto the central objectives from Charlie and the location on Alpha. Luckily for him, he has another medic who will revive him. He gets one more go, a little spray through the smoke, picks himself two kills up, and the final guy is finished off with his secondary before he gets AP mined. Kasatos is next. I always love it when this guy sends in clips. He is fitting of the title of this video because his plays just tend to be pretty smart all round. Starting out on Hamada, he's looking for some sniping shots on enemies that are camping around the Bravo objective. The red skull indicates a headshot. Lots of accurate shots in there. Next up on Aras, he's going to be pulling off a very nice throwing knife clip on camping enemy players, whipping out the secondary for a couple of kills there before the last throwing knife finds its way to an enemy's face. Pretty nice clip, 2,000 points in total on that game of front lines as he gets the capture. The final clip he sent in was a 7-man on Devastation of Rotterdam. Check out the accuracy in this clip. I'm gonna steal your clip. That's the best one. <laughs> uh, yesterday I still... Uh, I Now for a top play that I can't quite call a high IQ play, but definitely has to be included because it's the first time I've seen it done. It's using two things that many players have come to hate in Battlefield 5, starting out with a V1 bomb, locating it towards the enemy team here. On a game of breakthrough, he redeploys to get back to the spawn screen for whatever reason. Well, there we go. That's the reason for it. He wants to operate the JU-88 bomber, manages to pick one up in the nick of time, hops into it, flies across, watches his V1 hit the ground, picks up a few kills there, 1,200 points, flies in with the bomber, and then just melts everyone else on the ground. Two massive multi-kills. First time I've seen it done. Sticking with the V1 for this clip from Metal Slug, we're going to be watching one of the largest V1 explosions that I've seen. A lot of points in this V1, but not only is he going to be getting all the kills with the V1, he's going to be pushing forward trying to get a couple more kills. Unfortunately for him, there is a crocodile waiting around the corner. He just runs into the wrong area and gets himself taken down, but a lot of points and a good V1 for his team. The final clip in today's episode is a Panzerfaust sent in from Thunder. Playing on Twisted Steel, he takes out a JU-88. Right there, he saves a lot of players' lives. An epic clip. Thanks for sending them in this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you in the next episode.